every single time I come out here, we have a little hummingbird. Let me see if I can get him. I don't know if I can. He's right here on the bush. Oh, he moved away. I got too close. <sighs> but he always comes to this little bush right here. I have a picture of him. I took a picture earlier. But if I go back in the house, he'll probably come back to this little bush. He normally goes to this bush right here and this one. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are talking about how to be productive when you're not feeling motivated. And I really wanted to leave this clip in for you guys because I did end up filming on two days. This first day, I did get a few things done, but I just was not feeling like cleaning. I felt like I was kind of, like I said, pushing myself and just kind of forcing myself to do it. So I had to stop. I recently had washed like a load of clothes and normally I check everyone's pockets, but I didn't check Trey's pockets and he ended up having a crown in one of his clothes and I didn't notice it until I took everything out of the dryer. You guys, there was crowns everywhere, all over the dryer, melted all over my clothes. This, like it's all over. And then same for this shirt right here. this and my barbie shirt you guys like i love this shirt so it has ink all over it and then to top it off my sweatpants i had has ink all over it too well not ink but crown um, i watched a few tiktoks and they said to soak it in the tub with hot hot water with vinegar and dish soap so we're gonna try that and see if that takes it out um, really quick before I even do that, I'm going to get a toothbrush and try and scrub away some of the crown to see if that helps or not. If not, we'll just have to let it soak in the tub and see if that makes a difference. It also said to pour some vinegar in here, so I'm gonna get a little bit of vinegar and pour it in here too. And then let this sit. So let it sit for about two So, hours. really quick, it is the next day. And I just wanted to show you the results from the crowns. I did put it through the wash, and I ended up washing it three times. And it did get the majority of crown out in my Barbie shirt, which I told you guys that was the main one I was concerned about. Now, here on the front, there is a little bit of crown still here but I guess it's okay I mean I just probably will just wear this around the house now but I just wanted to at least get the crown off of like the sleeves we're gonna start today it's a new day and I'm gonna take you guys really quick through what we have to do we have to clean the kitchen up um, I don't know if you guys can see because we have gray floors but my youngest had some crackers, so there's like crumbs all over the floor. Here and here, like all here. Like it's kind of hard to see because of the gray, but it's it's a mess. The boys' room, we need to clean their room up. Kind of refold these clothes. Okay, so now that I took you through the first day, I actually had to stop so I had to kind of just get myself together so that night I was just thinking like I knew it was things that I needed to clean so I decided to come up with a checklist and I'm gonna share with you a few things on how to be productive without being motivated and step number one would be create a to-do list and that's exactly what I had to do that night when I was in bed I decided I needed to clean the stove. I needed to do the baseboards because they were dirty. I wanted to mop. I knew I had clothes to do, but I just came up with a list of things that I was gonna clean the following day. And that helped me out a lot because then I didn't have to worry about what I was gonna film, what I had to talk about. You know, it just saved me a lot of things. So that's one thing I could recommend for you guys. Write a to-do list 
and it doesn't have to be just with cleaning like anything that you need to get done like if you know need to get gas or if you have certain forms that need to be filled out write all those things down so that it gives you a chance to accomplish it for the day and it really helps out even if you just want to go to starbucks you know and sit down and have a coffee or you want to go to target write those things down so that when you check them off you can cross them off and feel a little bit more accomplished for that day it helps you create a plan and when you create the plan you feel more productive Now also in this video, we are doing a little bit of spring cleaning. I am doing pretty much my routine clean in the kitchen. I did the dishes already, wiped down a lot of the counters, and that's what I'm doing now. I like to do like the stove, the countertops. And if you're new here, I like to kind of explain what I'm doing as I share tips and tricks with you so that it helps. And I feel like it just makes it a little bit more fun instead of me explaining what I'm doing the whole video because I feel like to me, you guys can see what I'm doing. So it still helps out, but I also want to let you know if I decide to do anything new. Now, speaking of new things, I did decide to go ahead and clean my toaster today on camera. Normally I do do that, but it's been a little while and you guys see how dirty it was. Like it was one of those things I knew I needed to do, but I just didn't get a chance to get to it so today we are checking that off of our list and again clean beautiful back to like a fresh start so i noticed i need to clean my toaster whenever i start to smell like that burning smell and whenever i do that the tray is full for the most part so we're just continuing to wipe down the counters i'm also going to go ahead and get my oven today too it wasn't too bad but since we moved here i felt like a lesson i learned from my last place was to try and keep up with the stove top which was the issue for me in our last um, townhouse and also the stove so if i get a chance to kind of wipe that down every couple of months i will do that just so that i don't have too many caked up things in the stove and then just making it harder for me to be able to clean and get a lot of that stuff out And really quick, if you're new here, my name is Crescent from the Millennial Suburban Mom based here in California. I'm a wife and stay at home mom to two boys. I create behind the scenes, tips and tricks, cleaning, lifestyle video, and homemaking. So if you enjoy this type of content, definitely subscribe and join our family. We would love to have you. It really does go a long way in supporting the channel. Plus it makes sure that you never miss out on another video. And I do need to start introducing myself a little earlier in my videos. Sometimes I even forget to do it. So I wanted to go ahead and do that really quick. We're going to go ahead and get back to a few of our tips and tricks.
Tip number two would be to focus on prioritizing. Prioritizing is a huge part of having a productive day, and it's especially important when you're not feeling overly motivated. The first part of this is that when you prioritize your day, you are sure that you accomplish the most important tasks. So that's what I like to do whenever I have a huge list of things that need to be done. Either I will go for the smallest things, that way I can kind of check off more things, or I will try and take care of the bigger ones, which which sometimes can take up the most time or just be the longest. So some days, if I do the, the biggest task, then I feel like I have the shorter ones left and I can accomplish those in the next couple of days. And to me, that just makes me feel a little bit better. Everyone's different, so it's up to you to decide if you wanna go ahead and just take small bites or if you wanna handle the bigger projects. But for the most part, when you're not feeling too motivated, you do wanna stick with like the smaller projects. That way you can get them done. And then when you cross them off your list, you start to feel a little bit better. You get a little bit more energy and you're like, you know what? Okay, I can do this. Now really quick before we get back to the next couple of tips, I wanted to kind of share with you a few things that have happened with me and my family for this week. I haven't done like a positive and like a, a positive of the week and a negative of the week. Well, my negative of the week would probably be not being motivated yesterday, but the positive would be that I found out that my son Amari, my oldest, got straight A's. And you guys, he was playing basketball. So in the middle of the season, he had at least, I think, four A's and maybe two B's. So I was just telling him, I'm like, Amari, you're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. But when the basketball season is over, I want straight A's. So he was like, okay. But you guys, when I saw his report card today, he had all A's and he did it during the basketball season. So I was so proud of him. And another thing would be my youngest, Trey. <laughs> this one right here kind of hit me a little bit hard, but he had a loose tooth and he's had it for a few days. But you guys, he pulled it out himself because he wanted the tooth fairy to send him some money. <laughs> Now, I said that kind of slow because I don't know everyone's opinions on the Tooth Fairy. Um, I feel like this is probably the last tooth where I tell him about the Tooth Fairy. I feel like he's going to get, you know, the real now. But you guys, when his tooth was loose, it was the front one too. And I feel like when your kids lose the front tooth or their front tooth, it's like they're no longer the babies, you know? I mean, they'll always be... He'll always be my baby, but I feel like he's going to that big kid stage now. And when I saw his tooth and he smiled, you guys, like, I, I really wanted to cry because my baby, he's, he's growing up so fast. Like, yeah, he's in kindergarten, but it's just like one step at a time, Trey. I feel like he's just trying to grow up so quickly. I remember when he was little, he used to always ask me, mom, when am I going to be five? When am I going to be five? Because he just always wanted to be the same age as Amari. <laughs> And he's just grown up so quick, you guys. So when he lost his tooth, I just really, really got sentimental. But let me know down in the comments something that your kids have done that kind of brought you to tears. Like I was watching a mom a few days ago and it was her son's first day to go to preschool. And she was tearing up in the car and her kids were joking her. But I really could relate to that because I felt the same way when Trey went to kindergarten this year, his first day. It was something that was a change for him. And he had been with me in the house, you know, for years while Amari went to school. And it's just different. You know, when they finally go to school, it was just really, really sentimental. So now that he's in school now and I know that he's fine and he has friends, I feel good. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable with him there. But it's just like the changes that I'm not used to, especially as like a boy mom. It's just different. Like when you have girls, especially as a girl yourself, I feel like you can kind of, you know what 
they're going through or you can kind of relate especially as they go through different stages but as a boy mom i feel like every stage for me is like a learning experience because i've never had boys before and i didn't have brothers Okay, so next for tip number three, it would be to hype yourself up. Hyping yourself up is super important for getting things done. And when you really don't feel like doing anything, it just, it changes your mindset. So give yourself like a little pep talk. Tell yourself that you can do it. Be positive about it because sometimes the negative mindset will really have you in your feelings, just not wanting to accomplish anything. I know a lot of times, especially even yesterday, I had to give myself a pep talk, especially today. I told myself I was gonna come up with a list of things to do. I was gonna do it. I was gonna get myself motivated and just get myself in the right headspace for it. And I had to say it out loud too. It's something about saying things out loud that really assures yourself instead of you know thinking it. But if you're around a group of people or like in a workplace, then I would definitely recommend you know saying it in your head, <laughs> kind of whisper it to yourself, you know, even write it down. Just have faith in yourself. Even the shirt I'm wearing, that motivated me today too because it's the Bible verse that says, with God, all things are possible. So there's nothing that you can't do when you have God on your side, you guys. And the scripture verse is Luke 137. So let that be your motivation for today. Or even just the scripture verse is that with God, all things are possible. And just use that in your daily tasks to help you get through the day. Okay, so tip number four is going to be take breaks. Don't overdo it because then you get burned out. And trust me, I know you definitely get burned out. During those breaks, use that as a time to detach from work. Give yourself time to reset and to recharge because a lot of times once you do that, you get excited about the things that you want to do. Or you come up with new ideas and you be, you'll feel motivated all over again. Tip number five would be to reward yourself for accomplishing those tasks. Now, this tip, I feel like you could take it with a grain of salt. You don't have to go out and buy yourself like a new pair of shoes or a new bag every single time you do a new chore or a new thing. But 
if you don't do it all the time, then definitely reward yourself. I mean, you know when to reward yourself, when not to, but you just don't want to have yourself thinking like, hey, I washed the dishes, let's go get a new bag. Or hey, I put the kids to sleep, let's get a new pair of shoes. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like, even after a long week or even if it's payday, reward yourself. You work hard, you deserve it. Just use it as a way to help you, to motivate you to get things done. And the last tip I would recommend really quick would be to remember your why. Why are you doing this? Are you doing this to help your family? Are you doing this for yourself? Like remember what your goals are, write them down so that you can accomplish them. And when you do, you feel so much better. Hopefully this video will give you motivation. I'm not finished with the video yet, but I do want to share with you a few things that I did decide to go ahead and get from Amazon. This would be tip number five for me for rewarding myself. It's been at least a few weeks since I bought something for myself and it was just really time. So again, I do follow the tips that I share with you and I just use this as a way to share what I do and hopefully it helps you and just gives you inspiration and motivation. Okay, so I ordered some more lashes because if you guys watch my self care video, I do my own lashes here. I just did like 12 millimeter. And this is a brand. I normally use T Dance. This is the brand that I use to do my lashes at home. They're all 12 millimeter. Hopefully, you can see it. It's not a glare. And then I also got a screen protector because I need one for my phone. I needed some new house shoes. All right, yeah. So these are the new slippers. I needed some. <laughs> so hopefully they fit. Let me see. The floor's kind of wet still. They do. Good. I'm gonna show you guys. I got a size seven and eight. Seven, eight, because I wasn't sure. Hold on. I got a size seven, eight, because I wasn't sure if they were gonna run small or not. And normally I'm a seven and a half. So let me open up. So we have gotten everything on our list checked off today. You guys, I feel so motivated and I feel so much better than I did yesterday. So hopefully these tips will help you out. Well, if you have made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for your support and for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy videos like these, leave a comment or leave a heart emoji so that I know who the real MVPs are. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.